This playthrough is rated M for Mature. You know, it's nice to be in a fishing village or any village, and people are still around after you beat the threat. It's a nice feeling. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome back here with another episode of Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, we went to the uh, the fishing village. You know, after Alice got struck with a curse, Zhu Jin appeared, helped us beat it, and, uh, well, everything's good. For now, anyway. So, I want to hurry and grow up so I can be a fisherman, too. Well, at least you don't want to be a blitzball. I can't put my fish out to dry again. Thanks. Would you bring this to see Mother for me? She loves fish, so you might receive something in return. You received dried fish. All right. <clears throat> I can take some dried fish. Yo. Actually, let me go. <clears throat> Where's... Oh, valuables. That's it. I wonder if I still have that uh, stone in my thing. Nope. Okay. I never looked at the... Uh, the stone that uh, in the when I went to the sewers a couple episodes ago, so I never showed off the description for that. I need to pull up an old save file. I still have it. I'll, I'll do it at some point, but because it lose, it disappears from your inventory after you do it. So anyway, salt dried fish, salt dried mackerel, bread of deep ocean currents. Its meat is firm yet tender. A quack oracle ate five of them at Sea Turtle Restaurant. Everyone was disgusted. <laughs> All right. Oh, did I go over the library from? Well, let's see. I don't think I went over the wind one, did I? Oh, no, I did. Never mind. Aha. Now I remember. Sorry, I take, I've slept since then. They tell me you're the ones who got rid of the evil spirits for us. Wow, I underestimated you. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Uh, the old man that was here is gone. <laughs> Alright, well, let's give that fish to... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I, I could probably get the speed ring just fine, but... Uh, let's see if anyone else says anything. I wonder if this will be enough to let Yin Yin rest in peace. The world's out of the street. I'm really not that filthy. Play lottery, pal? Uh, yeah, I'll do it here in a second, because the item you get is actually not too bad, and we won't be able to get an item like that for quite a while, so I won't do it. Don't blab your mouth about me not being so filthy here. Yeah, there's a lottery guy there, so anyway, let's give her the fish. Greetings, friends. Did you get some rest? Leave it already? Be careful out there. The spirits are gone for the harbor, but they still roam the ocean. I will pray for your safety. Oh, is this fish for me? Thank you. This is my favorite. I'll tell you something. A man who died from Lili's curse left a strange message. It's about where he kept an extra stash of money. I didn't look into it too much, but maybe you find something useful. I don't understand what he means. He said, where the turtle looks, take three steps. What does he mean? Well, the where the turtle looks is the restaurant we're at, so we need to go one, two, three, or something like that. It's, oops, the ghosts are gone. I guess this means people are going to come crowding into port again. So it's this, it's basically the sea dragon uh, or sea turtle restaurant here. So, two, three, there it is. It's in this general area. So, huh? Something's lodged in here. Is this what the old lady was talking about? Jeez, what a pain in the rear! All right, we have to uh, judgment ring this thing. So, all right, let's hit three times. Yay! I did the first try. Woo! I'm always afraid I'm going to mess up the first time, so I'm like, oh, am I going to have to edit me getting it in the first try? No. Huh? Are you doing some shady business by chance? Anyway, we got 2,000 cash. All right, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and save it because I want to do the lottery thing just in case I mess up, which is quite possible. Oops, I keep doing the wrong saving card. There we go. Now we can go back up to file one since we've played enough that I can afford to do that with no problems. All right, let's do that lottery thing and see if we can get that the first try. I want to save my lottery tickets for in-game, but I always try to at least get one of the lottery every time I get a chance, so. All right, let's try to do it. All right, we want to try for the pocket watch. Ooh, a little tricky, but maybe we could do it. Oh, I might have hit it too early. Oh, we did, all right. <laughs> Here's the goods. You received a pocket watch. Don't blab your mouth about me being so filthy here. Oh, wait, we already said that before. So, all right, let's look at the pocket watch we've got here. So, pocket watch. The favorite pocket watch, uh, the, yeah, the favorite pocket watch of the British warlock McNabb, who performed many magic experiments concerning time. It cancels out all effects on judgment rings. Yeah, so fast ring, slow, or fast ring, small ring, big ring, whatever. It's, uh, it removes that. So, yeah, definitely an item to equip. Um, probably depends on the party member. I would say probably maybe Yuri, just because he's the one I use the most in the whole game. But that's up to you. I only lose a little bit of a physical attack power. Not that we're gonna... The next couple enemies we fight really don't have a whole lot of ring adjustment, but you never know. 
Oh yeah, and uh, the flare brooch, I don't know if I went over the details, but it reduces the SP I use uh, when I change by 20%, so it means less SP loss during battle so I can stay in the form longer or have to cure my SP loss, so. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'm good with my formation as is, so. We'll change it up later, but okay, anyway. But yeah, that's a really good item, um, especially for later in the end game. But yeah, it'll be quite a while till we get another one of those, so uh, it'd be a good idea to get one now. I wouldn't say very end of the game, but it's quite a while till we get another one. I was like saving it multiple times just in case. There's a couple more. Uh, r another reason why I want to save it is there's a chance to get a nice uh, item here pretty early, which we talked to the turtle guy from before. Uh, is he not turtle enough for the turtle club? Hey kid, you want to try playing in the leaf field? 300 per play? Sure, I'll try it. Should I explain how to play? I'm sure, I guess. It's easy, I'll lend you my hoe. <laughs> hoe? Uh, you can dig up three spots on this field. Anything you find, it's yours. But if you don't find anything, that's your tough luck. Well, let's get started. There are any annoying time limits, so you can search all you want. Receive the hoe. So yeah, we can pay 300 gold and we can search for stuff. There's a specific item I want to get. Not that I need to get it, but I kind of want to get it. So we'll see what happens. So, and yeah, we have to do judgment ring every time. And we do a couple of rings. Oop, and I mess up instantly. Great. I knew I was going to do it one time. Huh, nothing. Okay, two more tries. Yeah, you had to do it three times and obviously I messed up there, so. I'll, well, obviously since I failed that one time, I'll have to Oh, yeah, see, the, the rings are very small on this one, so I'm not surprised I failed a few times. Yeah, you don't get anything for doing that, so. It's kind of a random assortment of items you get from this, so um, there's just one item specifically I want to get if I can. Let's see if I got it. Nope, got a tear leaf. It's all over. All right, come on in here. And yeah, since I missed both times, I'm just going to redo it, so good job. Don't be mad if you didn't find anything good. And return the hoe. Well, let me let me talk to everyone else, and then we'll uh, then we'll reset it before we talk to Margaret over there, because that's the next step in our journey. Old man with bad back. I wonder if your soul will ever be at peace. I still think about her whenever I see the ocean. Yeah. And there's a silent petter, petter, peddler. Let's see, how's our how many steps are we taken? So we can get a terra abstract or voodoo doll. So nah, we'll say that. I mean, the voodoo doll is not bad for. It's basically a get out of jail free card so and you might want a couple of them for the fight boss fight up ahead because of how they work but i think talisman's lux will be fine enough so all right let me uh let me reset really quick and then try the mini game again so i'll be right back all right let's try number two on this and see if i can actually get all three tries right and to see if i can get the item i want so nah, i don't need to explain we know about we know about hoeing Santa Claus knows all about that. So, wait, where? There we go. Yeah, I know about that. Just hopefully I actually hit it this time. Ooh, got the first try. All right. I mean, on this recording, anyway. Ah, yeah, Terror Leaf. All right. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I mean, it's the standard stuff. You're probably going to get Terror Leaves, Mana Leaves, Tents, stuff like that. Yeah, now that I'm doing it, it's not so bad, but... Alright, uh, another turret leaf. Dang. Yeah, I'm not, getting the, I'm not getting the drops I want. Oh, well. Oh, come on. I saw that thing over there, so... Let's try it again. Oh, there it is. That's what I wanted. All right. Now, the thing is, the reason why I don't want to just do pay 300 and get a bunch of Terra Leaves is because Terra Leaves cost like 50. So you're basically paying way over for what the Terra Leaves actually cost. You know what I mean? It's it's all over. Anyway, let's show off the uh, third third key. Third key, max, max three sweeps of Mendicator with success action. So, yeah, automatically guarantees... Um, when you use it, you automatically get the three successes when you do it, so um, <coughs> it's a very nice item to get uh, this early in the game, so I don't know if I'll be using it on anything specific, but I wanted to get it anyway, just to show off that you could. So, yeah, I did get something good, the third key. I forgot how much they actually cost, but uh, or like what their actual value is, so 
I'm not going to grind for third keys. I just wanted to show off getting one of them uh, for purposes of getting a nice item. So, so we'll go ahead and save that because I definitely want to keep that. I can't believe I got the uh, got on the first try uh, after, like, well, you know what I mean. Like when you say I'm going to cut to when I get it. I got it on the, the after the loading. I got it immediately there afterwards. So, um, I mean, I cut out the part where I enter back in the area, but you know what I mean, like the next thing. So anyway, I think we're done with this town. So let's talk to, uh, oh, there's a uh, Kato. Oh wait, we don't know who he is. Oh, uh, hey, the boss told me all about you. You ready to leave? No, not yet. Just give me a holler when you're ready. And Margaret, how you doing? Our tweets on the let's, let's go. Uh, I think I actually I think I am pretty much done with this place. Um, uh, obviously. Um, yeah, no, we're good to go. So, all right. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, most areas in this game are like you. We can come back to some of these later. It's just for the first part of the game, it's pretty much we have to go forward, forward, forward. You know. So, anyway, let's get out of here. All right, all aboard. All aboard. Anyway, let's head to the smuggler's boat, so... Yeah, so you can't go back to the old areas quite yet, so... Despite it being kind of like janky uh, PS2-like looking graphics sometimes, that has a lot of... Uh, Flare and just like design and everything. I don't know, just the aesthetics of this game I really like. So, ugh. Ugh. Let me guess, you're seasick, aren't you? Are you alright? No. But you seem a little better than before. At least you can talk now. I guess. Oh god, is it even right? Do boats always rock like this why don't you try going out on the deck the fresh air might do you some good uh yeah maybe i'll try that maybe i'll i'd better come with you you still look pretty shaky no no i'll be fine yeah no, yuri is now permanently in like i don't know what you want to call it, what mode it is but yeah yuri cannot uh walk fast we had to walk Little, uh, we have little money to deal with on this thing. So yeah, we we are walking slow the whole time. So, I mean, it's annoying, but I like the idea of it because you know it indicates that Yuri is, you know, seasick or whatever. I never thought Yuri to be the seasick type. Anyways, Yuji and Margaret are both up on deck. I'll go talk to them. Ugh. Yeah, I think this is one of the few times where the main character is actually the one who gets seasick. Usually, it's like one of the side characters, and it's usually done for comedic effect. So, that girl, Alice, possesses extraordinary powers. She would make an excellent research subject. The young man who calls himself Yuri also wields unusual force. In the future, our country must... What you doing, lady? What about my future? <laughs> eek! The cat. Everyone likes saying eek in this game a lot. Hey, what are you doing there? It's not too late to try and find out the lady's secrets, sonny boy. Ugh... What's with the memo? What's it say? What? Oh, you mean this? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. this is oh, this old thing. It's just my diary. I thought I'd better write down each and every detail of this exciting adventure. Good idea, no? I couldn't care less. Ugh. Ew! Gross! Don't you dare throw up! At least, or or donate it to the the water gods or whatever, or was it? I forgot what it was from from Legend of the Five Rings. Ah, whatever. Uh, <gasps> Ew, gross! Don't swallow it. Ugh, uh, I'm I'm done for. How filthy! How disgusting! Go eat down or something. Shoo shoo. All right, sorry about that. I should just say anything else. You're starting to make me feel sick too. All right, let's keep moving. Yuri's just kind of like dragging along here. Blah. Just walking slowly, ever so slowly. Ew. 
there's Zhu Jin over there. Where is... Actually, let me go into that one room really quick before we move on. See if I can, actually. Huh? Why is this lot? What are they up to in there? Yeah, Kato and the whatever, so... It's gotten quite foggy. Yes, but not to worry. The boat is sailing smoothly. You know, I don't th didn't think we actually have it this easy. You're incredible, Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. They really think they're, we're their own personal couriers. So from Shanghai, all we do is get them from the, on the special charter and rush them off to Japan. We can't let our guard down. These people butchered the soldiers on the Trans-Siberian Express. Yes, well, I heard about the incident too, but... I can't imagine that the girl could be capable of such a thing. Uh, she seems so sweet. I mean, just look at how she takes care of the young man who's been sick ever since we left port. Hmm. It could have been him, that Yuri, that butchered, uh, did the butchering. Kato. Uh, yes? I wanted to see for myself. I wanted to see the girl and her friends with my own eyes. I assume you've heard about the old man in Shanghai who continues to plot against our army? Yes, I don't know the details, but Dehua seems to be a warlock with the powers of an adept. Correct. Thanks to him, we're having great difficulty gaining any measure of power in Shanghai. Hee <laughs> hee. He's a sharp old scoundrel, that Dehua. They say he tried the ultimate Taoist magic 15 years ago and was about to blow Japan to bits. Really? Who knows, it could be just an exaggeration. Something my father let slip when he was drunk. Apparently a colonel in Black Ops was just barely able to stop Dehua's ritual at the last moment. I had no idea. I don't know how much of it is true, but I think that at least some part of it really happened. The of desk jockeys we take our orders from don't have a clue about the size of this country. They know even less about the teeming varieties of people and ways of thinking here. Most people don't, like when they occupy other countries. This utopia we're pushing is nothing more than a dirty trick shrouded in a cute name. Even I might be just another cog in the wheel of this scheme, helping it move ever onward. I mean, Japan's trying to take over China. Have you seen the size of China recently? people here are victims of politics. All they really want to do is get on with their lives. It's no surprise this land would produce a world like, like Dehua. At least he makes things interesting. Dot dot dot. Lieutenant Colonel, what do you think the connection between Dehua and Alice is? Oh, forgive me for going on and on. It's just boring talk. Not at all, ma'am. I always like to, to hear your thoughts, Lieutenant Colonel. I mean, if, if Kiroshima wasn't, like, some antagonist or whatever she's doing, I'm, I find her pretty cute, too. And listen to her, you know. Not, I'm not simple. Uh, you're a funny fellow, aren't you? Fine. Let's just get back to the subject at hand. I've been tracking Dehua for some time. Eventually, I'll learn to the girl you were so desperate to catch. Uh, is this Alice? Yes, she has a unique spiritual power. Even Shuji met his death when he encountered her. Tehua will stop at nothing to get her. If used properly, she'll be an asset to the Shanghai Offensive. I wish to find out whether she'll be a help or a hindrance to Japan's invasion of the mainland. The Shanghai Offensive? So the Japan Army could take the mainland? Is that your real motivation, Lieutenant Colonel? Hee hee hee. Hmm. I bet Yuri doesn't even really care about all this. Ugh, I can't hear them. What are they babbling about? Yeah, the whole time he hears him, but he actually doesn't hear him. It's more for us, the audience, you know, so. Anyway, I forgot. Actually, I probably could just get this later, but I'm going to get it now, just because. There's actually a chest here I missed. So, where are you at? You're around. There you are. I thought I missed it. Anyway, we got a rosewood bracelet. We're actually going to need those. So, up, up. well, actually, you don't need them. It just makes the fight a lot easier. So. Like, with random battles, it's not too bad. I can kind of just ignore it. But in this case, I pretty much want to have these just in case so all right now let's talk to uh, uh Zhu Jin. let's see there's supposed to be it might be oh there it is ha 
Yeah, we get a witch's broth. A witch's broth, you say? Yeah, a witch broth. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Oh, yeah, I never read the description of Tea of Healer, did I? Uh, tea of Healer. Tea prepared in the manner originated by the healer Shuji. Brewed from sacred leaves, it restores physical and mystical strength when imbued with pure heart. I like how the game does show like, what ring it's going to be, so you're not surprised uh, if you've already read it ahead of time. Anyway, the richest broth heals 50 MP and 3 SP. Very nice. Uh, brew secret black magic ingredients. Every mouthful brings an ever-changing series of flavors. It restores mystical and mental strength. So, and I think uh, the seal of life. I did show that off last episode. So, uh, small object of art found in the tomb of the great adventurer Amlus after his death. It's, it's said to increase the user's maximum physical strength. So yeah, raises your well physical, raises your HP by three to five points. So. And yeah, look at how small that ring is. Good lord. Um, yeah, that's definitely one you save before it starts, and it's one of those that starts right there. So you almost have to press the X button almost immediately to get something out of it. So, yeah, definitely save before you utilize those uh, those seals. But I usually like saving them for later on. But that's up to you. So. It seems to be a live well for storing the catch. Why is there green crap coming out of it, though? Ugh. Anyway, let's talk to Jujin. Maybe, maybe some old Taoist magic can cure me of this like you know uh, this uncomfortableness but anyway phew the sun's down, gone down and the rocks and fogs rolled in mm. Ugh, what's with the scalp pops don't tell me you're throwing up from seasickness Ugh. oh <laughs> that would be you if I'm not mistaken say kid are you feeling better now and what did you make of this unearthly aura? It seems to rise from the sea and permeates the boat. Or permeate the boat. Unearthly aura? <gasps> Sorry, buddy. I'm dealing with some pretty earthly problems right now. Uh, who that? Hey, hey, watch it, will you? Do not soil my robes. Are those robes? I mean, I guess they're robes. But anyway. <laughs> Damn, now I'm just driving. Actually, I know what he's going through. I, I've got, I've been on a boat before when I wasn't used to it, and ugh, it is not a fun experience. And no, I didn't take any was a juptamine or whatever beforehand because I wasn't paying attention at the time. Aren't we in Shanghai yet? How much longer will it take? <laughs> we should be there by a little afternoon tomorrow. What? I won't last that long, pal. Hey, kid, if you're going to kick the bucket, do it over there, will you? People are so mean to Yuri. Huh, sub help you are. Couldn't you at least have some brought some medicine for this kind of thing? Uh, you and Miss Spygene are some big meanies. Alice is the only one who really cares about me. Oh, this is a nice kid, so. Anyway, let's head back to Alice after we talk to everyone. Although we want to stop by the, uh, the, um, the captain's area. Oh, not the captain's area. The wheelhouse, or whatever you want to call it should be open now. Door to the wheelhouse locked from the inside. What? Oh, fine. We can't open the wheelhouse, so... Oh, well, fine. Oh, wait, no, I have to do it. Uh, no, I have to talk to Alice first. Never mind. I was looking at my notes. I was like, you know, get lottery ticket and wheelhouse. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, oh, right, we have to talk to Alice first before it's open. Here, yo, are you okay? You didn't come back. I was getting worried. Well, I'm ruined a little slowly. Yeah, I'm fine. I learned just how kind you are, Alice, and how cold the rest of the world is. Uh, whew. Zhujin and Margaret say there's something wrong outside, but what could it possibly be? Hmm? Alice? Speaking of there being something wrong, Yuri, your disposition has changed since I first met you. It seems like you're changing more and more all the time. Maybe it has something to do with your powers. Like changing good or bad? Change doesn't always mean good. I'm worried about you. It's like there's a dark shadow hanging over you and it's getting stronger. Oh, the malice. Oh, well, yeah, my powers have just gone a little wild since I've met up with you. Now I'm confused with more spirits, but hey, I say things are fine just the way they are. The way they are? I haven't had any headaches lately. No mysterious voice either. Must be doing something right. If you're right about the voice one and tell me something and if what that voice says is true, then I want to know whose voice it is. I've decided to protect you at all costs. Anyway, what else was he going to do with his life, really? 
So I'm fine with things the way they are. Yuri. But you know. Yes? If, if I were to get devoured by the spirits inside me that I've fused with, if they take over and I'm not myself anymore, gotta kill me, Alice. No hesitation. Oh, come on. That's not funny. It's no joke. Don't worry. You won't lose to those monsters. So what happened? I, I believe in you. I believe in you that believes in me that believes in you. Hmm. Hey, you too. Something's going on. Hmm? It's not good. Go on. Oopsie. Didn't, did I come at a bad time? Am I in the way, perhaps? Uh, not really the best place, so... What is it already? What's going on? Something big. You two had better come outside. Let's go. Hmm? Hmm. Alright. Well, alright, let's check it out. But before that, let's go into the... Now the place is open, so... And it looks like no one's around. Oh, hello. You get a lottery ticket in here. Yes. And another lottery ticket. Ah, 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 ah. Did I ever actually show up the lottery ticket item? Issued by the World Lottery Foundation, secret members all over the world ask you to participate in lotteries. Get wonderful prizes through luck and skill. And I'll definitely want to save here pretty soon, too, so. Not right this second, but hey. What's up? The boat's turning circles in the same place over and over. Turning circles? Going around in circles, going... Yes, there's nothing wrong with the motor, but for some reason the boat won't move forward. It's as if as if the boat was being held by something underwater. Uh-oh, I don't like that noise. You should die. What was that voice? What was that noise? It's Lily. Lily? What is that? Here it comes. No, oh, there you are. Die. Let the stinking salt water fill your lungs and die. The mindless fish will pluck, poke, and poke at your rotting corpse at your bulging eyeballs. Here she comes, kid. So this was what was raising the hairs on the back of my neck. You two better take cover. This monster is likely to give us some real trouble. All, all right. Eek! God, everyone loves saying eek in this game. I think it's just the way the translators what you have to. <coughs> Lily. Tee hee! So you remembered. I've been waiting for you. Lily, please tell us what you want us to do. What can we do so that your soul may rest in peace? What do you want from us? Uh -oh. Taste my suffering and die. That's what I want. My friends are coming to greet you. Damn, she still hasn't moved on yet? Ote na Ote na kaze chifu matsu gaiku non te na ante na You Master Jujin <laughs> When did you get here, see mother? You must have masked your presence. You think you could suppress my spirit with your feeble power? Yeah, die! Yeah. Oh, she was hiding in the hold. Gross. Sea mother. Lily, I will save your soul. You will not be made to suffer anymore. Now calm your spirit. Silence. See, Mama. Lily, stop this. 
The pain. Creatures of the deep attack, drag these wolves to the bottom of the ocean. She's run away. Couldn't stand up to Sea Mother's incantations, I suppose. Are you alright, Sea Mother? Why on earth did you do that? Forgive me, Master Zhujin. I just wanted to send Lily off to Nirvana. That was an old-fashioned exorcism you poured for him just now. Yes? Here, let me a hand. If it's all the same, why don't we place seals all over the boat to help Lily's spirit settle down? Master Zhujin, are you sure? Think nothing of it. At this rate, the ship's going nowhere for the time being. Well, let's get to it then. Hey kid, I'm going to put up a seal here. Help see Mother rest until I'm done. And I'm imagining the monsters will be attacking, so I'll need you to buy me some time, too. Okay, you got it. Yeah, Zhujin's going to be out for this uh, section because he's doing that, so. Thank you, I feel better now. Mother, um, <laughs> wrong voice. Mother, did you hide in the boat to put Lily's soul to rest? What you knew, you knew this was happening. Yes, I didn't think Lily would give up so easily. I would give my life to save that poor girl's soul. Say, see, Mother. Hmm? What happened after Lily opened the door that night 14 years ago? Ah, we were interrupted. More story time? When Lily opened the door that day, well, it's just as you might have imagined. She saw her father back from the dead. He was in a terrible state. He returned to let Lily take his life. He returned to give Lily her voice back. He came back as a drowned corpse to be killed by his own daughter? Did she, did she kill her father, who had finally returned? No, she came to return the dagger, then with her father's drowned corpse on her back. She walked on towards the ocean, staggering under the weight. That's the last time anyone ever saw them. We couldn't find their bodies either. No wonder her spirit isn't at peace. I can't do anything for her. <laughs> you alright? I'm sorry to bring up all these bad memories. Why don't you get some rest? Thank you. Yeah get some rest and oh right nope yeah i'll save you all right let's go and save obviously yeah after all that so <clears throat> all right let's uh, go back up and now we can go into the wheelhouse Hey! what is this the wheelhouse has something happened there yeah let's check the wheelhouse oh yeah monsters are now uh, on the boat now the door to the wheelhouse is locked from the inside. Open, oh, damn you! No, oh, well that was easy. Now that Yuri's not seasick. Yeah, now we're talking. Alright, I got some new enemies here. Ogre flames. They're fire elementals. Surprise, surprise. Alright, anyway, let's uh um, yeah, it's Raging Tiger. Right oh, yeah, and you saw my SP went from 16 to 12, so very nice. Now you can stay in this form longer without having to worry about healing. Oh! I can't believe I did that. I cannot believe I failed that. Like that. I was, I, like, I was about to hit it, and then I didn't, so, you know. Oh, well, luckily that would do a ton of damage to me, so... Oh, they knocked me back. <laughs> oh, no, they didn't. Never mind. I was thinking. It looked like it for a second, so. Ah. What is wrong with me today? I need to take a, I need to take a nap or something like that if I'm messing up this badly. Let's see if I can actually do some damage with with, uh, with Alice. Usually I block with her, but since they, these guys don't do that much damage to us, I'm not worried too much. There is one more monster on this thing I need to... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just hitting it now. I'm, I'm like, no, I don't want to miss it this time. Uh-oh. That'll probably it'll hurt Margaret more than anything, but... Ow. Yeah, they've got high spirit energy. That's where all their damage comes from. Physically-wise, not so not so worrisome. 
Ow, what is wrong with me today? That is so bad. Man, I just, like, like I said, I, I've rested since then, but, uh, man, I, I do, I, I do apologize, man. Now I'm, like, lost in my confidence. Now I'm not trying to get perfects or anything with that, because I'd rather just make sure I guarantee a hit, you know? Yeah, even Alice gets hurt, even being in the back there. All right, let's try hitting her thing without, yeah, I'm just trying to hit it now. I'm not even trying to, trying to get past it, you know? Man. Yeah, you're getting a little. We got a talisman of luck for that, and some fire element. They're an elusive bunch, aren't they? What was that? You said you saw them, in Dahlia, didn't you? Or their relatives? I never imagined they actually. Oh, mother monsters! I'm not about to lose the likes of you. Yeah! Uh-oh. So I see Mother's in danger. Now see Mama's on, in on the action? Well, isn't this fun? We can actually go back in there without having to help see Mother and talk to Kawashima and everything. Or, sorry, Smuggler Boss. And we can talk to uh, Kato there. Uh, uh, yes, is there anything you might er, need today? Uh, yeah, of course. He's actually a shop, so we can actually buy stuff from him. So what I want to do is I want to buy another um, rosewood bracelet, despite um, despite how expensive it is. Um, I do want three of them because this will help with the the boss fight up ahead. Um, and we could buy like tarot. Actually, I might buy some tarot leaves as well because um, Alice. Well, actually, what are we? Has Alice gained enough levels yet? No, not yet. We probably won't be able to get her new ability then so we might relegate her to a healer then so we might be fine but um but i'll still buy some terror leaves anyway just to uh, like eight or something like that not too many all right then i also want to buy another rosewood bracelet for the boss fight yeah, it's a bit expensive, but uh, it'll it'll just make it a lot easier. Okay, and I want to uh, equip everyone with one, so let me uh, remove all these really quick just to clean out my. Okay, so I'm gonna put a rosewood bracelet on all the characters, and then obviously at least some of the pedometer just in case. We'll put that on Alice there, and then I'll give you the. Flare flare brooch. Um, yeah, we'll give you the. Uh, yeah, we'll give you the leather belt and the pocket watch. We'll give you the. Um, now we'll give you the bandana there. So, all right, cool. Now you're probably wondering what Kato uh, Kato has in store for us. What is Kato's like questioning about? Why is he asking like that? Will see Mama be able to uh, survive an encounter? And can we finally put Lily to rest? Find out next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.